What you guys got another video for you now a couple of you are interested in group policy editor so i thought I'd make a quick video showing you how you can block access to a hard drive using the group policy editor you can see we've got access here and uh, to the e drive and if you want to lock this down i'll show you how to quickly do it here now you will need to have windows 10 pro or above to get the group policy editor and I'm in Windows 10 here. So go down to the search and type GP edit and then open up uh, the group policy editor. So here we are. This is our local group policy editor. So let me just set this up so you can see it better. OK, there we go. So what we need to do is uh, go to uh, this location here. So we're going to go to the user configuration here on this one and then we go in, uh, administration templates and then drop this down here. Windows components, let me just open this up, file explorer and you can see it here. Now once we're inside here we can move over to the right hand pane here and uh, what we're looking for is prevent. So you can see prevent access to uh, drives on my computer. So what you can see here we're going to click on this one here and this will give you access to this uh, location. So we're going to give you enable. And uh, you can see here restrict all drives. So if you want to restrict all drives, you just leave that on there. If you want to restrict um, A and B drives only, uh, C drive only, A, B and C drives only and so on. So you can see here, uh, you can choose whatever you want. So we'll just leave this on uh, restrict all drives here. Click apply and OK. And uh, from here, we can now go back to our file explorer here and you should see your drive. If you try to access this drive, you'll get the restriction on here. Uh, this operation has been uh, canceled due to restrictions in effect of this computer. Please contact your administrator and it's the same thing for the C drive here and we've locked that down. So this is a way you can lock the uh, drive down uh, for this computer and it will stop people from um, getting access to inside here. Um, it's great in um, workstations and stuff like that that you want to lock down the drive itself. If you go up to the top here and you try to try to type in here C colon backslash or something like that um, it's not going to let you in there. If I did uh, this here, say for instance the users, it won't let you get in. It will still act, uh, block you. So no matter what you try and do, you won't be able to get into the drive. Now obviously by locking down the uh, C drive here, uh, you won't be able to access any of this stuff here. So you will need to uh, give access to something to get access to these uh, areas here. As you can see, it's locked and it'll be the same down here. They'll be empty. And if you go down to, um, let's see, down here, and you're trying to access any of this stuff down here, you won't be able to get it, okay? So if you want to uh, just restrict access to OneDrive, then I'll show you how to uh, do this. So looking at the uh, options here that we have for us inside here, we can see that the restrictions are for a certain type of drive like A and B, um, do not restrict drives, A, B, C, D only, and so on. So if you do want to uh, see uh, restrict D drive here, and we haven't got a D drive, we've only got an, an E drive, you can change the drive letter. So let me just quickly show you how to do that. So we're going to go into uh, disk management here. Um, so go into here. So, okay, so inside here, what we need to do now is change our drive letter. Uh, so we're gonna change uh, this drive letter. So I'm gonna change it to D, click okay. So yes, that should now change. There we go. So we've now got uh, our drive changed to D and what that means is we can now go back to our group policy editor here, open this back up 
and uh, we can go here and uh, just change restrict D drive only click apply click OK and we can now open this area hub here and if we try to get into our D drive you can see that uh, that drive is now locked down and uh, the C drive is now open and we've got access to our C drive so that's basically how you can do that and because we've got access to the C drive it gives us access to all our data folders here we can get into here uh, but we won't be able to get into uh, this drive here and to re to remove that um, restriction all you need to do is go back into your prevent and just go back here and uh, do not restrict drives and click apply and OK or you can just go back inside here and not configured and then you close this off and you should have access to that drive and that's pretty much it that's how you can restrict access to your drives using the group policy editor if you've got Windows 10 Pro and above uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and if you haven't got Windows 10 Pro and you've only got Windows uh, 10 Home, then you may want to consider upgrading to Windows 10 Pro because it gives you much more uh, control over your operating system and your Windows updates and stuff like that. Now, also, I will say that if you want to use Windows 10 Home, you can use a registry tweak as well to do that. And if you want to see that video, then let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, Thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. I hope this one's been helpful to you. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.